just keep pushing his advantage state. Big question right now, though, is uh, where are we going? Thank God Rainbow Cruise isn't legal. I know it's a fun stage. I know there's a lot of fun stages, but some stages just aren't fun for every character. But that's the point of the counter pick. I don't care. Alright. This dude been keeping us waiting long enough. I'm ready to see some action here. There we go, kicking it off. Game one on Battlefield here. Wolf versus Lucario. Daybreak versus Johnster, and here we go. Right away, Johnster just finding that advantage and finding the opening, but Daybreak answering right back, getting a good combo. Quick 48% here. Johnster being very patient at the ledge, not wanting to give Daybreak any openings here. By dealing his way back to neutral. Daybreak finding the advantage first, though. Whew. Trying to catch that landing, but slightly off of the timing. Down smash. Gonna catch that up B. Holy cow. Earth is a lot deeper than I was expecting it to. And Daybreak immediately just keeping up the pressure, juggling Johnster, forcing him all the way to the ledge here right off the bat. There is no chill in this man right now. Johnster definitely trying to find some sort of opening here, but the challenge is just getting back on his feet here because Daybreak's been doing a good job of keeping that advantage state in his favor. Been misspacing from Johnster, but able to find some misspacing from Daybreak to answer back. Back here sending Daybreak out pretty far. Ooh, very nice turnaround out of that neutral recharge. Holy cow, that actually hit. God, that thing gets huge. Yeah, as long as Johnster can keep this stock, he should have no problem evening things back up with this aura that Lucario gets to take advantage of. But Daybreak having none of it. Coming in with the back air catching Johnster, looking to get back to the stage too quick. Johnster trying to slow this match down a little bit here, force Daybreak to approach. But the problem is, Johnster's the one behind, so he's going to be having to make some moves in order to get in. There we go, Johnster doing a good job of keeping Daybreak up on that platform, but Daybreak finding an opening, getting down, only to get chucked right back off. Daybreak is just moving around, really keeping himself a difficult target for Johnster to pin down here. And mixing in those lasers definitely makes it a lot harder to pin him down. Nice Horus here there, covering the platform, catching the landing. That reflector starting to come into play. That almost worked. Back here, sending Jester really far out. They were no fear trying to go down there after him. Nice counter there just to prevent the damage and shield damage as well. Holy cow, that force bomb gets huge. But uh, that forest smash, also pretty big. So Daybreak doing a good job keeping up the pressure, taking out those stocks pretty efficiently, and taking game one there. A lot of the challenge for Johnster was just finding an opening and keeping that advantage state because Daybreak was really moving around, making it difficult to find any sort of opening to get some good momentum going. And every time he did get an opening, Daybreak was able to counterattack pretty efficiently against him. So. It's going to be up to Johnster to be able to control the pace of this game, I feel, because once Daybreak got rolling, that was definitely a lot of trouble for Johnster. So we'll see how Johnster is able to adapt going to town and city here. Daybreak already finding the first hit here, keeping this advantage pretty well to get a 54% right off the bat. No. This man's combos are ridiculous right now. I mean, to be able to just combo him that well, do that much damage, phenomenal. 
So Jaster unfortunately put in a rough spot here. And he's just having a lot of trouble fighting his way in against these fairies and nares that Daybreak's using to space him out. So, I mean, honestly, Lucario doesn't have many far-reaching aerials. And on top of that, the angle that Daybreak's approaching from, his aerials don't really cover those spots too well. So Daybreak definitely doing a good job finding the openings in Jaster's defense. Again, catching him with another back air here. Daybreak doing a really good job just keeping control and setting the pace of this map. Now Daybreak recognizing that Jaster's going to have to approach. He's just sitting back letting Jaster try and do things. Oh no, <laughs> trying to go for the style. I mean, he's got the stock lead. It's not going to be that big of a deficit for him to come back from. Down smash actually catching that up on the back end. And Jonster able to fight off that back here. That would have been stock gone if that had connected. Right now it's like you don't want to throw out that aura spear from too far away as tempting as it is because Daybreak's been doing a good job with that reflector of sending it right back. Ooh, clip in the top of his head there. Able to get some good damage, but Jones is going to be taken off the stock before he loses his. Yep, catching him with another down smash. Man, that covers Lucario's up B recovery so well just because it's disjointed below the ledge. I mean, Derek was just being really efficient, carrying those combos to their full.